starting off a new year looking tired and with no friends on Netflix. You guys, I can't even deal. I think I literally like cried inside when I tried to watch Friends and it wasn't on Netflix. I was like, I need coffee, like always. I got a coffee maker for Christmas and I still haven't set up the coffee maker and the timer because that's what I really wanted it for. So when I wake up, I can have coffee. These dogs are so fluffy. They need their hair cut, but not until January 7th. So happy new year, everyone. It's 2020. Wow. <sighs> I have two days left in my work week. So tired. Ew. Keep pressing on. Right. I just made the bed. I feel like hellhole today. Oh, I feel like I say that in every video, but guys, I just can't get used to it. Oh, what time is it now? It is 3.40. I'm gonna go get coffee. I think I want Chipotle because I really want a salad. <laughs> when I get back, I always like to respond to comments as soon as I can. You need to engage with people who actually care enough to leave a comment, so. I always try to respond. <laughs> I always try to respond back to you guys as soon as I can. So if I don't do it within, you know, like a day, just know that I'll eventually respond to you. <laughs> I just think it's super important. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Also, what I wanted to say, YouTube is so strict nowadays. It's like insanity. You can't even have music in the background of your videos. If you do, then you it's copyrighted it's so insane there's a few videos on my channel right now where i used background music which i thought was gonna be okay because it's just like jingles pretty much but uh-uh that's -uh, copyright claims so i either have to take the music out or i have to replace it with one of the songs that they have like on the youtube studio but when i try to do that it like doesn't work right because i try to adjust it to where it's only the music part and not when I'm talking. I'm still trying to figure it out. It's a pain in the butt. I'm gonna let the girls out. I'm gonna go get Chipotle, get some coffee here. When I'm just hanging out at home or like just going to get food, I really like to wear these matching pants and shirt outfits. I don't know, I just love them so much for when I'm just lounging. This one, I'm not gonna say that I fully recommend because it is see-through. I just like the color. Definitely wouldn't recommend it to wear out in public unless you're wearing a long jacket. There's the galleys. All right, we made it back home. Went to Chipotle Throttle. What? Now I'm trying to figure out this whole HBO thingy. Oh my gosh, I miss friends so much already. I went to trivia night one time at this beer place near me, and it was friends trivia, and I was like helping people near me because I knew basically all the answers. But I didn't know they were having friends trivia until we were getting ready to leave, and I was like, oh my gosh, I know all of these. How do you do this? What I usually get at Chipotle, I love their chips just because I like the tanginess to it. But I usually always get a salad. This dressing's really good. Oh, I gotta get Cholula! Cholula! If you guys haven't tried Cholula, I totally recommend it. It's a hot sauce that has more of like a flavor than it does burning your tongue off. So I get salad, brown rice, black beans with the peppers, and then corn. Uh, the medium, mild, medium, medium salsa, because I like spice, and then some cheese. Mmm, so good. So I kind of just want to show you guys how I decorate these coffee table books. I got them for Christmas from my parents. I actually enjoy reading these books. I have a few more over there. There's three more in there. And I love going through them, looking at them, reading them. They're just 
really cool, interesting books. They are expensive, which is kind of, you know, a downside. They double up as something that you can decorate your space with, and then you can also read them and look through them and get inspiration from them. I put Vogue on the bottom because it is more of a thicker book, and then I have Chanel on top. This is the collections and creations both of these you can find on amazon so i will link them in the description box down below so don't forget to check that out on top of it i kind of just kept the same stuff so i have my little tissue thing right here which i need to get more i need more vix tissues this is just the tatcha lip balm that i've been using these are the blue light glasses from soho's i actually talked about these on my instagram so if you don't follow me on there Make sure that you do. But when blue light glasses first came out, I thought that it was such a gimmick because I didn't think that blue light was such a big deal. But when I edit and when I'm doing things on my computer, I used these and I totally see a difference. It just doesn't make your eyes strain. It doesn't give you a headache. They actually really do help. I was very, very impressed. I will also leave these in the description box down below if you want to check them out. I just have a few of these marble coasters that I keep on here. And then this little square box I got from Home Goods to keep all my remotes in there. And then this is just the lighter that I use that I also got from Amazon. So I keep that on here because I like when things are a little bit more organized. And then I just always keep a candle here. Right now, this is the marshmallow fireside, which smells really good. I look like Gam Gam Sally. <laughs> I never know if I really actually look good in these because my honk. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I think this video is just going to be kind of like an introduction to 2020 because there's literally not anything going on today. As you can see, the girls and I are just chilling until I have to go to work. I think I'm just gonna edit this video and then try to get it up today because I don't think it's very long. I want to plan a lot of exciting videos in this new year. And if you guys ever have any kind of requests, always make sure to leave them in the comments down below because I always see the comments and I always respond back to you guys. And if it's something that I can do, then I'll do it. A lot of you guys are requesting more work-related videos and I'm kind of being a little selective of what I do while I'm at work. If I can incorporate a little bit more, I will. I would love to show you, you know, as much as I can. It's just that I have to be careful with it. So, hopefully you guys understand. Thank you for your cooperation and patience. <laughs> but I do want to start getting on an actual schedule now that my channel is starting to grow, which I'm so, so thankful of. Thank you guys so much. Now that it's starting to grow, I really want to get on an actual schedule so I can post as much as I can. I think 2020 is going to be a fantastic year. I have such a good feeling about it and I'm so excited for the journey. I'm so excited to put in the work. You guys have just made the end of 2019 the best and I really, really, really appreciate it. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Again, like, I just can't say thank you enough. <laughs> I'm also going to do a video on what I carry on my duty belt. That will be up next. I know a lot of you are trying to become police officers, so don't give up on your dream if it really is something that you want to accomplish. I also want to do workout videos that kind of will help in preparation for the academy. I need to get back on a workout routine. I'm really disappointed in myself for jumping off the bandwagon, but sometimes it happens. Sometimes life gets in the way. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you do and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Until next time, I will talk to you guys later.